Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching. This is going to be a real brief episode of something to think about. Again, thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe, the like, the share, and uh, the notification so you'll know when we are on. And again, uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, a lot of things happened, some big news where it's going to be on mainstream. It's going to be on uh, on all of the platforms of uh, the January 6th hearing tonight. Also today, um, Joe Biden announced that he had COVID. And uh, yesterday he said in a speech in Massachusetts that he had cancer. Uh, they kind of tried to walk that back as a, as a mistake, but uh, we're here to give you something to think about. And those two things are indeed something to think about now. While there are concerns about the health of the 79-year-old president of the United States, according to CNN, CIA chief wants to know why this guy is so healthy. He's entirely too healthy, according to, uh, according to their words. And uh, it gives us something to think about. Those that have watched the show for a long time know the reports that we had from supposedly... Uh, inside Russia on, uh, darn, I said the word, uh, that'll get me um, no advertising. That's how that works. Anyway, uh, other news, as we said, uh, the January 6th hearings, um, a lot of, you know, there was an outtake shown, uh, Secret Service Radio, um, just a, a lot of things in tonight's uh, edition of the January 6th hearings that if you didn't watch it, uh, you should probably check out on highlights and a uh, quick scan of what's happening on um, YouTube, where we are playing right now. Um, en route, I'm assuming en route to January to the uh, 1776 movement. I don't know. He's one of their uh, one of their broadcasters. Maybe he's en route home. Um, some of their live streamers have left and. Um, it seems there may be a COVID outbreak in uh, in that organization. We'll keep you up on that. Again, a, a hat tip to a a, um, a channel called Behind the Mirror, and uh, it provides insight into how and why people engage with the world around them. And uh, um, it's a it's a different channel and one that um, one that I would recommend. And uh, also. This has been announced, and you probably won't see anything about it on mainstream until after the fact, but uh, this is supposedly going to be happening this coming Saturday, and uh, I'll just leave this up for a second so everyone can see, um, and, and again, this is not, you know, we're not promoting this, we're making you aware that this may happen. And there may be delays and uh, tie-ups and traffic situations. This may be the reason for it. So just giving you a few things to think about there. And then finally, um, this happened earlier today. It happened, uh, This it was posted just about an hour ago. Uh, New York Governor Republican nominee Lee Zeldin was uh, at a campaign event in Parrington, New York, and was given giving a speech when uh, when this happened. Here we go. There's only one option. So he was uh, he was attacked on stage. We'll be hearing about this probably uh, a lot more in the coming days. But uh, this is breaking news, and I uh, wanted to share it with uh, all of you first. Again, uh, this is the the Republican candidate for governor in uh, New York, Lee Zeldin, 
He was attacked tonight by an unknown assailant supposedly brandishing a bladed weapon. And um, we'll be looking to update that as, uh, as updates become available. I wanted to remind you of this real quick. We, sh we shared this last night. The amount of ice that melted in Greenland between July 15th and July 17th, 6 billion tons of water each one of those days. So 18 billion tons of water um, was melted from the ice caps and has been released. And uh, let's just say that some scientists are concerned. So that does it. That is our very quick brief things to think about on this episode of something to think about uh run through them real quick once again george uh, joe biden tests positive for covid slips up yesterday or announces yesterday that he does indeed have cancer and that the uh pollution around the massachusetts area when he was growing up was a reason for it um again whether that was a slip up or not or a or an admission, uh, it is something to think about. And um, in other news, um, we know that there's a possibility of an action being taken by trucking organizations or independent truckers and independent people uh, coming up possibly this Saturday. So we will look at, for all of those things, we'll be back on, uh, we'll be back tomorrow, Friday, and look for our notification to see if we're gonna be live or uh, if we'll be doing a, another recorded drop here. Again, thanks for watching. This is something to think about for the 21st day of July, 2022. We'll be back real soon. I love you all. Again, thank you for watching.